Hi everybody, I am back today with a project share of a mini album that I made for my Graphica 45 brand ambassador position. I use the Mother Goose Deluxe Collector's Edition paper pack to make this album. So I'm going to walk through it and show you what I use and some other things too. To start off, this is an album that measures six and a half inches by nine inches. It has a two and three quarter inch spine. It has four pocket pages inside and it is matted to hold 78 photos. It is a baby album, so it does have the 12 months for the first year in the album itself. And I will show you those whenever we get there. So I first made this is a frame. So I cut one of the frames off of one of the cards and then I framed it. I put acetate in front of it so that she can slide a picture, the newborn picture, into the front of this if she chooses to do so. These are some chipboard pieces from the collection. This is one of the stickers that I popped up on a piece of chipboard. These are some of the cut aparts from the paper collection, as is this. There's another chipboard piece here. And these are some of the Graphic 45 flowers in neutral and ivory. This is also a strip of one of the papers, is one of the border strips. On the spine, I just have two of the stickers from the collection. And then I just left the, black, the back plain. It is held together with a ribbon closure and this ribbon is featured throughout the album. Opening up to page number one, the inside cover first, you'll see a belly band here with a photo mat. It's month one and two, so I cut these out uh, using my Cricut and then I've matted some of the cards here, some of the stickers here on card and then a photo will tuck behind it. And then this is the back side. On page one, these are tags from Graphic 45. They are magnetized. So this is one of the regular tags with a spot for photo mat. Smaller card actually is spot for journaling. So they are magnetized to the front so that she can remove them if she chooses to. But they also decorate the album and I do have this set of postage stamps here just in case she does remove them. Then this opens up to the side. So two spots for photos here. And then behind the belly band, I have one of the cut apart cards with a spot for a photo, some journaling for on the front. And then I made a little booklet with two spots for photo mats there. In each of the pockets between the pages, there will be another photo mat. They're all very similar. They go through the months, like the first one in the belly band that I showed you. They complete the rest of the months. So in the first pocket, got months three and months four. On the second page, we have a belly band made from the border strip with another tag. With a photo on the back. Again, the smaller tag just has room for journaling. And I just use plain cardstock and I put faux stitching around it just to give it some accents. Piece of the chipboard to hold those tags. This is magnetized. Turns up for two photos. Again, this is open so that she can place the photos behind it. And then this is a waterfall. I've used all the cut apart cards. So you can see there's room for six photos here. And if she wants, she could place another photo there. And these just tuck right back under the band. On the next page, there is a... There's a pocket here that has the larger tag with the spot for a photo and the smaller tag with room for journaling. And then this opens with a magnet 
flap here with the Humpty Dumpty paper opens up. So small photo here, two photos in the middle. And over here I have one of the cut apart cards. It's just plain on the back. I didn't do anything to it. She can either choose to journal on that or she can place a photo in the pocket. Photo mat for five months and six months. On the next page, we have the small journaling card tucked in here. And then the large journaling card I will show you in just a moment. So this actually folds out on each side and it will hold five photos on each side. And then here, same thing. She can also journal there if she chooses. Then the larger tag has a belly band and then room for the photo there. This is magnetized, it flips up, there's room for a photo there. And then in the pocket, I have made, I used one of the cut apart pieces. She can journal there, place a photo on the back. And I have another one of the little cut aparts with the journaling spot there. On the next page, both of these are magnetized, room for journaling. These flip up, room for photos. They also have pockets here with the two tags room for photos. These pockets flip down, room for more photos. And then behind the belly band, I have a card with journaling on the front, room for a photo on the back. And these magnetized smaller tags hold the flaps closed. In the pocket, there is photo mat for seven months and eight months. On the back, this is magnetized, the journaling card, room for a photo. And then in the belly band, I made a booklet with one of the cut apart cards, room for a larger photo and two smaller photos. It's plain on the back. She can put another large photo there if she chooses to do so. On this next page, we've got a small tuck spot pocket here with the regular journaling ta tag for a photo and then smaller card for journaling. Then this swing tab, both of them swing open. There's room for two photos here and then room for two photos here. In the pocket, I have one of the journaling spots and then I made another booklet with two photos. Play on the back, she can add a third photo if she chooses. Then this closes first and then these will go in the pocket here. In the pocket page, there's the photo mat for nine months and 10 months. There is the journaling card in the room and the tag for the photo. This flips up for a photo, flips down for two small photos. Behind the belly band is another one of those cut apart cards for journaling. And I added another one for room for a photo. And then in the back cover, there is another belly band with the 11 month and 12 month photo map. So this is my Graphic 45 Mother Goose Baby Mini Album. This is a gift that I made for someone I work with. And so this is something that you can make though on your own if you choose. I do have a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial with pictures and descriptions and all the cutting guides for how to construct the album and how to decorate it using the Mother Goose collection. If you are interested in purchasing the tutorial, it will be listed in the description box below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.